300 months would be the bottom of the guidelines. All right. So no issue there. All right. Uh, do you know how many days? I know it's very significant, but as part of the sentence, I will have to put on the record yes, how many days he has been in the county jail. Um, I will uh, pull that up right now. Can I come? What's the date of arrest again? Is it December? Uh, I, I will correct um, that. Yeah. from the time and date calendar uh, would be 4,559 days um, credit. I routinely ask, and I understand there's not a legal basis for that, I routinely ask for 30 additional days of credit because there are often times where a judgment and sentence or other paperwork delays. If the state objects, I know he does not get that credit time, but given the sentence, I would ask the court to consider that. Yeah, I, I usually round up too to avoid any uh, like for those reasons, motions for additional credit. Um, and some those come about for different ways. I don't know if uh, he had bonded out or anything. I know there was a bond, but um, he had never bonded out, so he has been in custody the entire time. Yes, sir, it's been continuous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Doherty, would there be any objection to uh, rounding up or giving an additional 30 days to the 4,559? No objection, Judge. Okay. Um, great, that requires me. That's going to be 4,000. 589. Yes, sir. Thank you. I can do simple math, at least. All right. Um, go ahead, Mr. Keatley. Let me have you stand to receive the sentence. I know that it's, it's not a surprise that you're going to be sentenced to life today, but I do want to make a couple of comments. This has been a very long road and a very difficult case for a number of reasons, including the fact that it has been such a long road. I think that it is the oldest case that is on the docket in this circuit, but it has finally come to an end, and what it shows to the victims in this case is that justice is not always swift, but justice is eventually served. Nothing I can do or say today will alleviate the pain that you have suffered and the losses that you have suffered, but I do hope that you can find some peace in the conclusion, or at least the conclusion at this stage of this case after such a long road. I am going to adjudicate, if I haven't previously done so, I may have, I probably did adjudicate at the end of the trial. Madam Clerk, was he previously adjudicated? No, he wasn't. All right. Well, I will adjudicate Mr. Keatley at this time guilty on all six counts. I will sentence him to life in prison on each and every one of the six counts with a minimum mandatory of 25 years in each and every one of the counts. In Florida, life means life because there is no possibility of parole. So, Mr. Keatley, you will, barring any reversal on appeal, spend the rest of your natural life in the Florida Department of Corrections. I am going to impose all standard fees, costs associated with the um, standard uh, computation of those fees and costs. You will have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence entered against you. I will give you credit for every day that you have already served during this long road in the Hillsborough County Jail which was 4,559 days, but I'm going to add 30 days to give you credit for 4,589 days. Is there anything else from the state? Judge, you do need to announce formally on the record if those life sentences are to run concurrent are or consecutive. Absolutely right, and I am going to run them concurrently. Thank you, Judge. Is there anything from the defense? I'm going to defer to Mr. Escobar. Mr. Escobar. 
Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we have been hired by the family to handle the appeal, and so we will file the appropriate papers uh, by Tuesday. Excellent. I appreciate you letting me know because there is sometimes we're not sure what's going to happen and whether we need to appoint the public defender or anything, so I do appreciate that. Um, and I have announced on the record that there are, are th he does have 30 days to appeal. Thank you, Your Honor. You're very welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, Judge, I'm sorry. I, speaking with Mr. Keith, yes. a question. Yes. Uh, he had a question when you pronounced court costs. I told him those were the uh, statutory court costs. Right. Those are not costs associated with the prosecution. Uh, well, I don't have the list up here of the same, but I will tell you this, that if you have a discrepancy with any of the standard yes. court costs that are imposed, feel free to feel a file a motion and we will have a hearing. I am not opposing. I know that he was um, at some point represented by the public defender's office. I'm not imposing because he was ma majority of the time represented by private counsel. So I'm not imposing those costs associated with public defender um, fees. So um, I will strike that from the uh, from the standard costs. But if you have any issues regarding costs, I am uh, I welcome you to file a motion. We will review the judgment and sentence, of course, and if right. there's a question, we'll follow up on and that. And it'll take a couple of days. I don't expect to sign that until probably Monday. I don't expect that it'll be in my queue to sign today. Yes. Um, and he won't be transported until after that. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. We You're welcome. Your time, nothing else. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Don't sign this one? Oh, there's one in Jaws? Misty, I was going to sign this one, but um, Christina said there's one in Jaws, so I'll sign the one in Jaws. If it's not, I can sign this one. I saw it. Yeah, absolutely. You can go ahead and sign that one, and I'll delete the one out of jail. Okay. Judge, and I just need to make a mark on the last page on your signature page that it's prison and white on there. Otherwise, I did. for some reason, it doesn't get counted. No. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 